We have some awesome partners that are with us, and one of the partners that we have today, we want to say big up to SCFSU, which operates the UCCF and ISF movements in Jamaica. Come on, put your hands together for SCFSU. And so we have representing the SCFSU, Mr. Paul Lewis. Put your hands together for Uncle Paul as he comes to greet Fashion and Purity Conference today. Thank you, Jermaine. It's such a pleasure to be here this morning. Or is afternoon, sorry, time fly. Afternoon, time flies when you're having fun, don't it? Come on, time flies when you're having fun, don't it? It's such a pleasure to be here. I mean, earlier I was coming in and I was greeted by some former ISFers. And I said, my gosh, them get big. I never, almost never even recognized them. But it's so good to see where people are now and that they're still serving the Lord. Amen? Amen? Amen. So I want to bring greetings on behalf of SCFSU. We are the parent body for ISCF and UCCF. Let me see the hands of the ISCFers in the building. UCCFers. So good to see you. So I want to bring greetings on behalf of the organization. We consider Passion and Purity such an awesome partner and what they're doing in the school. They're coming alongside us, doing exactly what we are doing. Making Christ known and introducing people to a close and personal relationship with Jesus. So we give thanks for Auntie Donnett and Uncle Andrew and how they've come alongside. Give your hands for them. They're doing such an amazing job in the schools. Listen, pray for them and it's a big job. Pray for them. We continue to pray for our partners and we continue to thank God for our partners and we thank God for them. So before I go on, I just actually want to remind us of what our theme is this year. So just like Passion and Purity is pushing Jesus in the schools, a very important initiative and we thank God for that kind of vision. We are coming alongside them with our theme where we say, walking together in the light. Walking together in the light. It's a strong reminder. And it's coming from a verse in 1 John chapter 1, verse 7. Walking together in the light. So one of the things Paul does in his letter, quick Bible study tip, one thing Paul does in his letter is he uses language that's accessible to us. Walking is something that we do. And when you think about it, it is closely related to the Christian walk. Walking is somewhere you put your left in front of your right and in your right in front of your left. But you're doing it repetitively, consistently, right? And when you do that that way, you move forward. And the Christian life is like that. It is what you do consistently and repetitively that causes forward movement and growth. And so we want to stress that, that for our students, that in order for us to move forward, there are things that we are going to have to do consistently and repetitively in order to see growth and forward movement. But one of the other things that we're stressing is that we need to do that together. We need to do that together. You can't do it alone and grow. You need a person to your left and your right. Right? You need your group, you need the ISFs, but you need fellow believers coming alongside you to grow. And so our theme this year is walking together in the light. Our sense of fellowship has a basis. It is with the profession of living holy lives for God that we are going to fellowship and come alongside each other. So we are excited for what the Lord will do this year through this theme coming alongside passion and purity and the important vision of Jesus in our schools. There are events that we have. One important upcoming one that we have is our leadership conference. This is an annual high ISCF conference that is hosted. It's December the 27th to the 31st. So mark that date. It's December the 27th to the 31st. And you can go on ISCF, ISCF camps on Instagram and follow us and you will get further information. All right? So thank you. It's been a pleasure and a joy being with you. I love coming to these events, not just seeing existing students who love Jesus and are on fire for Jesus, but it is great to see former ISFers, though sometimes they make you feel old, I'm still young, but it is great seeing former ISFers who still love Jesus and still follow him. 
All right. So thank you so much. Uh, looking forward. And if you see me, you can say hello. Uh, I, I, I don't bite. I promise. All right. So thank you. Enjoy the rest of your day.